So today, I'm going to try out some products. Everyone has asked me in the past, what do I use to bring back a pink car to a red car? This is everything I've tried in the past, and today we're going to actually test to see which one is the better one out of all of these. Right, so for starters, we have some cheap compound. We, I'm leaving this one to last because I don't know if we would need this or not. Some uh, red polish that came with a Mark II Golf that I had for years. Used, used the polish, it's actually pretty decent. Unsure what the brand actually was. All the labels have come off. Oh, Turtle Wax, there you go. That's not too bad. Meguiar's Ultimate Polish. This has been really good stuff. Uh, Colour Restorer, also Teacup. Again, there's not much in that one. Uh, G3 Professional Restorer. This has been absolutely magic, that stuff. Ultimate Compound. We'll try this as well. And then just your bog standard car plan, couple of quid uh, polish. So what I'm going to also be using is I've got a G3 pad we'll used for that. And a couple of pads um, for some of the other products and the rest, obviously some cloths. But uh, we're, we're going to test out these and see what the, which one's the better one out of the, the group. Is on each end of the, the, the rows, there is each product which I'm going to test on each section. Uh, first we've got Turtle Wax, second car uh, plan, third uh, teacup which I also think is car plan uh, but it's Restorer. Uh, then on fourth we've got Colour Restorer which is D G3. Uh, the next one we've got Ultimate Polish from Meguiar's and then again Ultimate Compound on the end which I'm not sure which is best out of them two so I've just put them at the end sort of figure it out from there. I'm going to use one of these to mop it off with. Wax on, right hand. Wax off, left hand. Which is quite nice. It's actually not too bad, to be honest. Uh, probably the cheapest one out of all of them. Not bad at all, is it? So let's try the next one. That's very nice too, actually, for a second lowest paid one. So, next one is the top half for the colour restorer. Wait a bit. Obviously, I didn't do the full bonnet, but you can see the difference. So you've got a shiny bit here, and then a flat piece over this way. There you go, you should be able to see the difference now. Oh, I see the difference already. Nice. So if I go back to the cheap ones and then move over to this one the middle one that's G3 it's almost a mirror mirror polish that's not bad so so far I think the middle ones are the best one so far let's keep going Still not as good as the G3, I don't think. Ultimate compound. So we'll try this. This should come out shiny. Well, I didn't do any around this, so I'll start. Pulling off the tape so we can see. Magic. Right, that's the result so far. As you can see on this one, that's the colour restorer I uh, tried to sort out. I did a little bit at the top, but you can see the difference between each one. I think this one's quite a sharp, sharp cut in the uh, compound. On the end one, the same. Pretty, do, pretty good. This middle one, I think, would be a good one for small stuff because it's quite blurry at the bottom here. Whereas for that one, it's slightly sharper. So I think between these two, 
are the ones that will be the ones that I'll probably use. Um, I'll probably go over in a minute with a few places with this one and try it on a couple of different panels. And again, I'll try different ones on that one as well. But overall, it's, it's a tie. It's down to these two now. So the product we'll be using today, clean my ride. I've been trying to get this onto the channel for a while now. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'll just spray it on, agitate it with a brush, and then see what happens next. I've tested on it literally everything. The only thing I haven't tried it on is clutches actually. So it's all green and horrible. It is quite pokey stuff. The only thing I have bad to say about this product is the bottles aren't, or the squirty tops are not that great. Other than that, they're pretty good products. There you go. You can pressure wash this off. A lot of this that I'm rubbing against, like obviously here and there, that's your paint, that's rust. Um, I will probably touch them up, make it look a little bit nicer. But yeah, you just really get it in there with a brush. Be stabbing with it. Like I said, don't be scared to to like literally get it in there. Very very stubborn stuff. I don't try anything else. It might have to repeat the. Um, product a couple of times just to get it in there. It depends how thick it is. Honestly, don't be scared to get it in anywhere. What I'm going to do today is I'm just going to literally wipe it off to show you how easy it, the product can be. Oh, look, see what I mean? It's just literally eaten away at it already. It really would work better with if you had a pressure washer. Um, like I said, I'm trying to do everything on a budget, really easy. So I'm just going to try and wipe it off and see what, the, what it would do if I just wipe it off. De Marabosure. So that's the result so far after being polished with G3 it still will need a bit more TLC but for the first coat it's not too bad it's actually come out really really well so yeah the only thing I haven't done haven't cleaned the wheels or the, or the trims yet and I still got the roof to do but to be honest the way it's stored it will never never be perfect so at the moment this is probably where where it's going to be at. 